guys, welcome back to the channel. Behind me, we have what has turned out to be a pretty legendary build. This is my boyfriend Zach's 58 Ford. If you guys remember, he found it on Facebook Marketplace and brought it home after he said he wasn't gonna bring home no more Facebook Marketplace finds. If I tell her I put a 12 out, then it should be happy, right? Uh, probably, I don't know, I'll be happy. Hey, babe. What is this? <laughs> so remember I told you I went to buy a rear end? Nope. Bitch. It came with a whole truck. Oh, of course I was supportive of it because it looks badass. So his first plan was to put a 12 valve in it, but he's always wanted a blower motor ever since he was a kid. And we like to build stuff for LS Fest. LS Fest is kind of our jam lately. So it took a turn and this whole video is gonna be the build series to that. And it's gonna be hosted by Zach. We're gonna turn him into a YouTuber yet. So enjoy the build. All right, we got the 58 back in Lacey shop. Uh, JC welded up the firewall. Basically filled in every hole that we were not using. So now we're gonna grind it smooth, put a skim coat of Bondo on it, and get it ready for paint. And now I'm gonna pull this rear end out so that we can narrow it. Cause I need to get a 15 by 14 and a 28 in here. And then I'm also gonna run a 22 by 14 the 295 for burnouts. So we'll get this thing ripped out, get some measurements and get it narrowed. Got the nine inch out of it real quick. Now I gotta take some measurements, see how much we can take off each side of this narrow this so i can get some fatter tires under there i'm just using these for mock-up real quick these are 22 by 12s and a 295 i'm thinking i can do a 20 by 14 or 22 by 14 for the daily driver and burnouts a 28 by 10 on the back for some drag racing so we got plenty of room back here to narrow this rear in and get a pretty good tire under it well i decided to go with a bulkhead connector for the wiring harness um, we got a 35 pin and a 29 pin they both have different gauge wires in them some 20, some 12, some 16. So my plan is to mount the Dominator, the MSV, nitrous, everything on a panel behind the seat. Pre-wire all this so that I can put this in the truck, wire to the Dominator, then turn around and wire over to the engine. We got the rear end back from being narrowed. We took about six inches off of each side so we can get the 15 by 14s under it. Temporarily, I just cut the axles down, bolting them back into place, waiting on the billet third member from Yukon to get here so we can get measurements for the quick axles. So we're gonna put this thing back under the truck, temporarily take it over to paint, get the firewall, do a low rider style. Then we'll pull it out. Uh, we gotta put an anti-roll bar in the rear end, get it all mocked up, weld it out. I'm gonna powder coat the rear end gold. And then motor should be back in about two weeks. So we'll be making a trip down to Texas Speed to pick it up. And then up to Sea Weston to get the blower parts and hopefully get this thing ready for LS Fest.
right, so we're in California moving Lacey back from her Netflix show. Uh, blower dry services was 30 minutes from her place, so we figured we'd stop here, pick the blower up in person, and save on shipping. I'm just trying to mount my shifter. Can you give me some room? Hello? Can you give me some room here? Ethan, back to us not knowing what we're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> we're taking stuff apart to put it We're together. taking stuff apart and, uh... Oh shit, there we go. So basically, I take all this, wire it into that, and then wire it into that, and into that. You press start. Hopefully, hopefully it'll start. <laughs> Probably not gonna start. All right, guys. So we're running an MSD Pro 600. Uh, we're also running the truck off a of Switch Pro and a Dominator. So we're gonna run the Dominator to the bulkhead fitting, unpin everything, repin in the new wiring harness that goes with the LSX. JC giving us some dome lights in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to see where we're going? Okay, six hours later, we still don't know what we're doing. We got three, two, three, we got three wires, wires done. So this time next year, this thing might fire. So we've had this thing on and off about 36 times trying to make sure we got fitment. Hopefully this is the last time we got to put it on. So we're putting the manifold on, but uh, my big old meat grabbers won't fit in there. So, so I, got I, got my, I got my ghost mechanic over here. I got fired from behind the camera. Don't be scratching my polish. Oh, fuck. I need smaller hands too. I need like an extension on this thing. Extension on what? Like this needs to be just longer. Which part? Like the actual ratchet. We ain't got one of them. Short little, short little pumps like I do. All right, so some of y'all run wheel spacers. I don't know wheel spacers. I mean, we run wheel spacers. Well, we run That's spacers. we're we're, we're, some we're some people. We're some people. Holy shit! Yeah. Ooh. Where's that wire at? Oh, son of a bitch! I forgot the gaskets. Oh no. Yeah. Wheel. Okay. It looks good though. Yeah, 
It's just a three person job for sure. Definitely not a one person job. I mean, it could be one person if he actually went to the gym. Why don't I have nowhere to grab? I don't know, that's what sucks. Somebody put the carbs on there. That's a fucking finger. Oh no. Cut this. We're gonna wire put this in the dominator, wire this to one side of the bulkhead, wire this to the other side of the bulkhead, plug it all in and start. I mean easier said than done. Something like that. It's fine. You have your lovely assistant Ethan, so Ethan, look at him. He's got everything labeled. <laughs> It looks like we know what we're doing. So we oh. started with the B150 and we're like, we'll just cut a hole, shove all the wires through and plug them in. This one is a little more open, so we're gonna try to make it a little cleaner. That's a like, lot of wires. Act like we know we're gonna look inside the cab. Oh God. I mean, looks like it's going good though. Somewhat. How many uh, days? What's the deadline? Um, like a week and a half to let us be the tuner. Oh, really? Yeah. Eek, I thought we had the whole three weeks. Whew, that's one pretty axle. Yeah, let's hope it stays together. <laughs> yes, sir. So we got one little issue. These don't fit on there. Oh. Nothing against bare brakes because it's not their fault. I must have not specified what size stud I was running. Zach. So instead of calling complaining like a Karen, I'll just drill them out. You want to tell them about the sweet powder coat on this thing? That's some sparkly silver on top of some sparkly silver with some clear. And then we got a Yukon, Yukon gear and axle, 40 spline third member. Quick performance, built some 40 spline axles for it. And now we're putting some uh, bare brakes on it. That'll fit, so we're gonna make it fit. So this is basically a drill press. And this moment is brought to you by Full, Full Throttle. throttle. Sponsor me, please. <laughs> Go. Are we talking or we just put it on? Whatever you want to do. Okay, so you're supposed to get a measuring apparatus and make sure this is centered, but you can just look at it. You can tell by the way that it is. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Part two. Take, take two. Might be take three if I drop these damn things again. If one of these makes a difference, you get bigger fucking problems. What do you think, Gunner? Nope. <laughs> nope. You're a pretty boy. All right, so this is the bare deep stage dual caliper setup for the back of this nine inch. Um, in a clear 15 inch wheel, as you can see over here, you have to get the right offset axle with the right lug size, which I didn't tell them that, so that's why I drilled those out. And other than that, it's pretty self explanatory. Bolt it on. You know, putting washers on the back side of your studs is frowned upon in the normal truck industry, but in the race industry, it's totally normal. In, in time lapse, you can't really tell five or six things, right? That's right. Make sure you don't just go around, you dumb fucks. You what do you mean? Around. The star pattern? Yeah, no, you're just going to circle, it's way better. That's an old watch sale. I mean, I don't think I believe you. I would get straight roasted on the internet if I didn't do the star pattern. Well, they can roast me all I want because I don't give a fuck. We're going to take this. Louder. We're gonna take this and put it in there, even though I ain't got four link bars yet, but we'll just set it in there and see if it's gonna clear. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yep. Let the air out. Well, I didn't jack the truck up high enough, so we're gonna let the air out. Shove it on in. It's a bad. 
four. Maybe come forward. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely. <laughs> Sure, this goes on next. L's for left, right? Driver. L is for loser. Loser. You can't find the hole from the spit on it. Oh, look at that. Now, these motherfuckers and this motherfucker goes on here. I like this. Look at that. He comes over here just uh, loving this dual or the kit to make this work. With this part. Why? Because it, it says in the instructions, don't whine too much. Just figure it out. Yeah. Because it, it requires some mechanical skill. Wait, so that's what the directions say? Oh, no. no. that's because we didn't ask Lacey. But she's the mechanic. Yeah, I'm the mechanic, duh. Oh. But isn't her finger bent? <laughs> <laughs> my finger's bent. Okay, that's why so I can't help this whole video. My finger's bent. Large service sent us the dual throttle linkage. We got that somewhat figured out. They sent us a new pulleys because Weston was trying to send this thing to Jesus as soon as I started it. He sent me with 30 pounds of boost. We're going to start at 12. Uh, we're going to put the brake handle in this thing, crank it over, make sure we got oil pressure, and hopefully start this thing tomorrow. T minus one day before the first startup. Whether the headers are here or not, it's going to yes. start tomorrow. <laughs> It's a five and a half, five and a half quart pan, but we got dash 10 lines to the cooler and a cooler in the bed. So we're gonna put six quarts in it, crank it over, and then check it. We might pull that little pressure sensor out, put some air to it, and make sure it works. Let's run this thing over to get oil pressure, and we found an oil leak. Pretty sure we got a bad fitting, so we're gonna change it out. We got oil on the wrong side of the motor. It's supposed to be in the motor, and it's on the outside of the motor. We got some oil here. And over there. Oh, you didn't know about that one. Oh, you didn't know about that one back no, there? I didn't know about that one. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. We got two oil leaks. So far, it wants to be a 12 valve. <laughs> yeah. It was supposed to be a 12 valve. Right. <laughs> Shit's way too expensive to be leaking. <laughs> Alright, so we got like two gallons in here. Now we're going to turn the fuel system on and see how many fuel leaks we got. We got two oil leaks, so how many fuel leaks do you think we got? I made the line, so probably a lot. So clearly there's a lot of fuel connections. So that probably means there's gonna be a lot of fuel leaks. Okay. All right, so we're gonna drill this, drill that, tap that, make some shit, and it should work. Okay, well, let's start <laughs> over. All right, Alpha Digger sent us this uh, cable to run this with this. But it doesn't work, so we gotta make it work. JC's gonna build a bracket here. We're gonna drill this out, drill and tap that. And everything should work. This controls this. This is actually for an injected blown system, but it looks way cool on top of a set of carburetors. So when you give it throttle down here, this is gonna open. All this contraption shit has to work together. One last hose, we had to make a trip to Summit because we bought that Amazon junk shit and it leaked. So we had to spend like, what, $500? To make some cooler lines. But we got headers in, this contraption that took a long time to figure out, but it all works now. It might start, it might not. I'm like 63% sure that it might. You seem nervous, Zach. Definitely nervous. This is the most expensive motor I've ever owned in my life. I mean, me, me and Ethan wired it. I mean, he looks pretty sure of himself over there. <laughs> I mean... Hey. Well, what's funny is we skipped around so much that we can blame each other for why it isn't going there to start. There you go. Did I do that? Did you do that? My rock life worked. That's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, position's at 3%. 
We fixed our oil line, so we're gonna spin it over with no fuel, no ignition, see if we got oil leaks, make sure we got oil pressure, and then we're gonna try to fire. Safety first? Just in case. Do you know how to use it? I know how to start fires, I don't know how to put them out. <laughs> Take two, me and Ethan had to go back and fix our ignition wiring problem. We thought the green wire ran the fuel pump, but it didn't, which, it ran a lot of stuff. Which it was hooked up to the power, to the fuel pump, so we just terminated the whole circuit. Yeah, we just terminated the whole circuit. Yeah. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Yeah. Give us a time check. No. Time check, it's like three in the morning. We wire 12 <laughs> valves, you can put three wires in that damn thing and make it run. <laughs> Sabotaging my side. No, that one kept falling off, I thought it was. Oh, oh no, you gotta put it on first. It wasn't even oh. on the plug? No. Oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> no, that wasn't, that wasn't me. That was, the, that was the header people. Woo. How you feel? A lot better now that that son of a bitch fired off. Pretty I'm just not gonna burn the MSD box up by putting uh, positive in the ground. <laughs> oh, I good. fucked up. It was kind of good that we it fucked had up. no power. That's right. <laughs> we know what we're doing, but we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're like the fake ass mechanics on YouTube. Wow. Wow, you're on TV as a mechanic. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> spacer on here because the offset was wrong with these big ass brakes. So we're going to slide these on here, set it down, scale it, and hopefully we get a new tune from this thing and it might actually run for more than 30 seconds. I mean, I like how it sits. How it's higher in the front? Yeah. Yeah, I think it sits good. I don't know. What I do you think? Low is always better. 